Hello everyone and welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome back to Mossley Farms! We are here in Farmville too and it has been far too long since I have seen you guys! Believe it or not, I have actually been recording consistently, but something horrible happened! I was trying to be really fancy and I spent actually a couple hundred dollars on a big splurging huge splurging. I've never spent that much money on myself except for like getting my school laptop, but I got a new um, recording device and it actually just didn't work with my laptop and so I didn't realize that all the episodes of Farmville 2 I recorded, the audio was horrible. Not even like passable horrible. It was so horrible. I just couldn't bring it upon myself to even try to pass it off as time that I wanted to spend with you guys. Your guys' time is absolutely precious to me, and I didn't want to corrupt it with some some horrible, horrible audio. It was terrible, you guys. Oh my gosh, it was just awful. So, that said, we're back. I have my good old blue Yeti plugged back in. Everything seems to be going great, and we are getting ready for some mega adventures in Farmville 2. To catch you up really quickly, we have gotten our puppy, we have grown up our cows, we are cooking up some desserts, we have built a flower buggy to make flower bouquets, which is the new spring event, and we are continuing to help out with the bird watching event, but we have completed that and we have got Darling his new hammock. I will give you guys a tour of the farm as soon as we find out about this secret society of farmers. How cool is that? It actually makes me want to make achievements for my sims to get, like for Sims 2. I may or may not be getting ready to launch my Sims 2 series again. So exciting, yay! So, join the Keepers of the Harvest. Collect badges for your farming achievements to rank up and earn rewards within the society. Join a secret farming society and receive your flag and journal. Mark your farming progress with badges in your journal. Journal, earn society rewards and rank up within the keepers so that is what we're going to be working on today guys so let's learn more I, oh, look at it look at it look at it it's doing it it's doing it it's doing it oh my gosh okay what the heck ah, join now and receive exclusive rewards and get an early start no I just got an early start on my dog I can wait for my society hat and I can be patient and and do all of these cool things that they're hiding from me why so we have to wait five days <laughs> I got so excited over nothing. We can receive early access. No, I'm gonna wait because that's like twenty dollars and like twenty real life dollars. No, thank you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I already got the dog, and so we're just going to wait for the uh, the really cool journal event because that'll be out next week. Then oh. That's so exciting! I love tracking my progress through badges and things like that. I actually have a private blog that I uh, use like a, a skill set ranking system to help me tackle my goals. And it sounds silly, but oh my gosh, do I ever get a lot done. Also, all of these marigolds! Let me explain the orange marigolds. Orange marigolds, oh wow! Heirloom hickory nut cookies. Oh yummy! Those sound delicious! But orange marigolds are really awesome! You actually can use them to make these beautiful bouquets. So this is the bouquet buggy, and you make spring bouquets, and then your friends come and visit you. They stop by your farm, and they pick up the bouquets, and if they gather enough bouquets, they give you really cool prizes. Like we got these living chairs! One's the forget-me-not chair, and one is the living chair. And I realized when I was messing with it, I was like, wait a second. They're the same chair! And sure enough, they sure are the same chair. So I thought that was pretty funny because we had the forget-me-not chair from a previous event, and now we have the uh, living chair is what it's called from this event. So the kids and I, you know, Lily and Tate and I, we dragged over the tea trolley we just got and the tea lights we just got with the little dessert oven that we are currently using. In fact, that would be a really cute decorative piece. So we dragged it over next to the dessert oven. And you know what else? would be a really cute piece. It would be really cute to get that little crystal geode cracker. What are you doing, escapee cow? No, I don't want to feed my cow. Oh, well, I guess we're feeding the cow. And you guys might see Nutmeg, our dog. Oh, we picked out the puppy. We did everything together. And unfortunately, I just didn't get to record any of it because the audio was the worst ever. There's Nutmeg. Here she is. So this is our girl, Nutmeg, hiding in among the chickens. Darling, I love you, but I'm not, it's nutmeg's time to shine. Not you, Bun Bun. 
not you, Chicken. Nutmeg. This right here, our beautiful Collie Nutmeg. I am really in love with her. I think she's absolutely fantastic. Let's come over and give her a little bit of lovin'. Okay, apparently we fed the, the cow. Who's feeding? Who's, who's going to play with the dog? Come on, somebody come play with the dog. Ugh. So no one's playing with the dog right now. But basically what Nutmeg does is when we super feed and feed animals, she will run at those animals and give a little bark, and then they will produce even more goods, which is really cool. So she's absolutely precious. It looks like she and Lily are playing in the kids' area right now. But yeah, oh man, and this is Darling's bird hammock that we got from the birdhouse event. It is next to his walnut tree. I'm going to water it because this is Darling's special heirloom walnut tree just because. Just tonight we made cookies actually, real life Darling and I. And I was like, okay, get the pecans because they were chocolate chip oatmeal uh, with pecans because I love pecans. And I, can, I can't really eat cookies because sugar and uh, flour give me a bad headache, but thankfully... I can eat delicious oatmeal cookies occasionally, like just one or half of one sometimes, but he loves them, so it's worth making the whole batch, even if I only eat half a cookie. Um, and we were making them, and I was like, okay, get the pecans, because he was like running around collecting the ingredients while I was putting them in. <laughs> and he threw a bag of walnuts at me, and I'm like, these are walnuts, and he's like, they taste the same. I'm like, no, in cookies they don't, and I, I made him get the pecans. <laughs> So here's his walnut pecan tree, which is pretty exciting. All right, and let's go ahead. We're gonna super, or we're gonna feed everybody through their tro trout, troth, troth, troth. I'm gonna say that word wrong forever and ever and ever, and it's gonna drive me up a wall. Oh well, we fed them all through their thingy, their bench. They're feeders. There, that's it. I'm calling those feeders for the rest of my life. Let's just, that's what we're doing. All right, we need to, we need to feed Gobble George. I don't remember what we did name him, but I, I like the name Gobble George. And let us grind up some fresh mint to feed everyone. Do, do, do. Oh, and there goes our wonderful little Collie. She's just jumping around, being a good girl. And actually, we have completed the co-op challenge for the week. Like I said, we have been doing a lot. We just lost a ton of progress and content. See, she barks at them. And they're like, whoa! And then they, they like, give more, more goods. Oh, my goodness. More super feed. We got to feed these guys, too. All right, that chicken is prized. It's going to strut off to the pasture. Good job, prized chicken. My goodness, look at the whole crowd. Let's harvest those up. Maybe feed the pheasants. You never know when you're going to need more pheasant things. What are you doing here, Price Chicken? Oh, <gasps> you guys, look. So this is the Secret Society flag. That's really cool to know, but I can wait five days. I'm staring at you, woman. In fact, in five days, uh, my time, I do believe the Sims 4's expansion pack will be out, and I will be so distracted. Not going to lie. I'm going to be having so much fun. All right, there we go. Oops, gotta send some requests to some new people. Awesome. Oh, and here we have our little escapee cow. But speaking of the cows, currently when you feed miniature cows, you get, um, oh my gosh. Okay, yellow mastery ribbons. Mastery ribbons left and right tonight. My goodness. But when you feed the little cows, you get these really cool little, um, little double creams. And you take those double creams over... Do, do, do. Oh, look at our little teensy baby pig. It is the cutest thing. I just kind of want to like put it in. I'm going to put it in with the bunnies. It thinks it's a bunny now. Look at that cute little tail. Where are you going? There you go. You stay right there, you cutie patootie. My gosh. So there's the extra stuff. Oh, there's a pig. There was a big pig stuck back there. That's funny. Is there something else stuck back here? Hello? An animal is still hungry? Is that what you're telling me? All right, who's still hungry? Where are you hiding? Oh, good girl, Nutmeg, good girl. She is such a good dog. I wonder who's still hungry. Oh well, we'll just have to leave it be and hope, hope for the best. Also, we did get another sunken chest. Need to get a few more crowbars on that. And let's go ahead and gather up this rice. And then it's just kind of daily farming tasks because we have worked our way through pretty much everything we can do quest wise, oh, except for harvesting 20 radishes. We have the extra water, so let's go ahead and get that done just so it's out of the way. And actually, let's, do, let's read what the radishes are needed for again. 
Barbara, what do you need it? Through and through. Percy's really pouring himself into helping his friends learn farming. Look at him go, collecting water to fill up the feeders. <laughs> trough. Trough. <laughs> Why do I, I... I'm very intelligent. I've been to university for many years, but for my entire life I have difficulty pronouncing words. So it's kind of funny. If I speak in Nihongo, if I speak in Japanese, it's it's so much more clear-cut, so maybe I just need to learn how to read all this in Japanese, you guys. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All right, well, let's water these because they're for Percy. And how can you not fall in love with Percy? Because he is the sweetest little boy and so happy with his new mom and dad. Barbara and Walter just make great parents, so everyone's happy all around. Speaking of Walter, he still needs more coffee thermoses, so we'll have to see if we can help him out with that. Yeah, the co-op's been completed for the week. And, oh! Oh, it might need some help. So let's pop in here. What's this? Oh, Joanne! Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Oh, that's fine. Join another co-op. Probably because I, I took a while to, to fill it out. No problemo. Let's make sure our bees are taken care of. Gather up that yarn. And I think we're going to send Darling and everybody else caving again. We have been sending the family caving quite a bit because we're low on some of the ores. So let's send Tate first. And then we're going to come over here and I'm going to work on making flower bouquets. So basically we make some beautiful spring flower bouquets. They're Marie's idea to reward, um, well reward is the wrong word, to like thank the town for being so supportive during her election season since she's currently mayor, which I think is really adorable. And actually, oh, see I'm thinking about thinking about sims again it makes me want to make a little mayor election system in my sims 2 town which doesn't even exist yet just jump in the gun there we go so we can make these really cute little golden polymanders pomanders even <laughs> and what they do is they combined the orange marigolds which i personally love and the sunflowers which i also love you can also make floral fanfare we need more um more little fans for that that's when you combine your irises and these little lace fans and make a little fan or spring pageants which are really pretty and they give you three of the little invitations i would love to get a couple of these floral or arches and maybe one of the little white baby rays it's so cute so cute so we'll have to see if we can work hard on that and let's invite i mean come on and get some flowers you guys come on by stop on down and get some beautiful bouquets what could you lose? You know what I mean? All right, so now we have taken care of everything. We have got our quest going. We still have a little bit of free time before the co-op starts again. I think we have like a few more hours. So next, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow we'll have to be working on this again. Churning our way down the ever busy, ever busy path. Let's make some brie while we can. <laughs> oh, let's just get that out of the way because we always need more salt. Always, always, always need more freaking salt for more brie and other stuff. So let's just put that away for now. Barbara, can we help you with anything else? Blue rubber gloves to keep the kids' hands clean. That might be the last thing we're able to pull off today. Except I have no flasks since I'm using all of them to make mac and cheese so that we can expand into this area. All right, and if I missed anything, so you guys are kind of confused since we did unfortunately have that mega embarrassing error so we ended up skipping a few days then you guys just let me know and i will be more than happy to fill you in on the details of what our awesome little farming family whoops our friend's getting james james you're getting attacked by bees let me help you out down there buddy but yeah if you have any questions about what our awesome farming family and all of you awesome friends have been up to then please 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 feel free to ask me because I love, I love doing this. I love playing this. I love being able to start my day with a nice organized mind, which for some reason, Farmville 2 provides for me. All right, and then who's our friend over here? James, James, come down here. All right, let's get some pretty flowers going. And it's fall again. Oh, 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 I think she took care of these spots. Quick, Avatar, Avatar, quick. And fertilize. I hope that was the right spot. I think it was, look at the beautiful flowers. Oh, that's so exciting. Yay! Oh, look at the lovely orange marigolds. 
there we go. Also, did you guys know it is actually possible to go backwards and lose a medal? I lost our medal. I did. I was like short 200 points on, on the little country fair thing. And I went down a medal from a medal 9 to a medal 8. So we're going to have to totally fix that. What an affront upon my, my system and my skills. Foo, 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 foo. I'm going to plant some sunflowers and Marcus is going to help us and I'm just going to kind of tend to everything that we've got left here. Oh my gosh, that's the most awesome hat ever. Laura, Laura, I'm so envious of your hat. Is that like a buyable hat? It's so pretty. Oh, I have hat envy right now, Laura. <laughs> but all right, everyone, I hope you have an amazing day. And even if you get put behind on projects that you're trying to do, as I got way behind on the projects for sharing Farmville 2 and a wonderful start to our morning together, uh, just don't give up. I felt really overwhelmed, like, oh, what's the point if I'm just going to fall behind and blah, 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 I miss days. Just shake yourself off. Admit sometimes things don't go to your plans. And remember why you're doing the things you do. And for me, that's being able to share just a nice start to the day and a sense of organization with everybody. So I hope you have that as well. And I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow as now our audio is fixed and Mandy's coming to visit. She's going to help us grow some sunflowers. Yay! You guys are so awesome. And... Hopefully we will have luck on our projects and if we've fallen behind, like like if you've fallen behind as I have, I hope you can just stay calm, stay steady, and then we'll catch up or do even better than we could have before. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.